Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how to find the rule of a quadratic function in standard form. So in your notebook, please put the subtitle, Finding the Rule of a Quadratic Function in Standard Form. Well, finding the rule of a parabola in standard form is actually extremely easy, as long as we have the following information. We are usually given the vertex, or you have enough information to locate the vertex, and at least one point that the parabola passes through. With these two pieces of information in hand, it is very easy to calculate the rule of the parabola in standard form. Now the easiest way to demonstrate how to find the rule in standard form, it's best that we look at an example. So please put example and get the following question down. A parabola has a vertex of minus 1 and 8 and passes through the point 3 and minus 4. The question, find its rule. All right, now let's clearly identify what we already know. The vertex being minus 1 and 8 actually already reveals the following. We know that our h value is going to be minus 1 and we know that our k value is going to be 8. Now thanks to our point of 3 and minus 4, this also reveals a possible x value that we can use and it also reveals a possible y value that we are allowed to use. Now, once we've identified our h, our k, our x, and our y, all we have to do is plug and play into the rule. It looks like the following. We know the rule will always have the shape y equals, and standard form looks like this a bracket x subtract h squared plus k. Of all the variables you see in the standard form, we already have four of them. Let's plug in the ones that we do know. Thanks to our point, we know that the y value is minus 4. a remains missing. Again, thanks to our point, we know that the x value is going to be 3. Thanks to our vertex, we know that our h value is minus 1, so it's going to be 3 subtract negative 1, which in fact will display a plus 1 squared. And our k value is what you see is what you get, positive 8. As you can see, the only variable that's missing is our a. All you have to do is use your algebra skills to isolate our a. So let's do this together. Let's shift the positive 8 to the left side of the equal sign. That will give us minus 4 minus 8, which is minus 12, equals. Now let's work out the bracket. We have 3 plus 1, which is 4, and 4 squared gives us 16. So the right side, we have 16 times a. And let's finish off by shifting the 16 to the left side of the equal sign. On the right side, if we multiply by 16, then on the other side, we divide by 16. So we have negative 12 divided by 16 will give you the a. And always be sure to reduce. That means our a value will be negative 3 over 4. And therefore, that completes all the variables we need for the rule. The rule of this parabola in standard form is y equals our a value, negative 3 over 4. Inside the bracket, we have x plus 1. squared, and our k is positive 8. 
And there's a rule that belongs to the parabola with vertex minus 1 and 8 and passing through a point 3 and negative 4. As you can see, it's extremely easy.